Hi everyone. Here is our first problem. Okay, solving systems. So I know we've done this a bunch, but we need a lot of practice with it. Um, so, and I think a video is much needed right now. So if we've got this problem and our job is to solve this system, what that means is that means our final answer needs to have an X and a Y value. This is what we're getting to. So right now, a couple of things I or one thing that I noticed that really helps me decide on how to solve this is that both of these are already solved for Y. That means that this is a way to say Y and this is a way to say Y. So for example, one way you could say my name is Heather. Another way you could say my name is Mrs. McDonald. So you can do either of those two things. So one way you could say y is 4x plus 6. One way you could say y is negative 5x minus 21. Okay, so that's why we can substitute these two things in for each other. So what I'm going to do is where there's a y in this equation, I'm now going to write all of that. Okay. And now this is a problem we've been doing for a while. Doesn't make it easy, but at least it makes it familiar. So now our job is to solve for x. x is the only variable here, so that means we're set to start. So I'm going to get all the x's on one side. So really kind of our checklist of things is we want to do any distribution, combine like terms on each side, and then we want to move variables to one side. Once we do that, then we start to get x alone. And to get x alone, we're always going to undo addition or subtraction first, and then we're going to undo multiplication or division. Okay, so there is no distribution. I know that because there's no parentheses. If I look at each of these sides, this side alone, there's no like terms to combine. This side alone, no like terms to combine. Okay. And there are variables on both sides. So now we do, so this was done, this was done. Now we've got to do this. We have to do some work to get this done. So I choose to move this to this side. It doesn't matter which way you go. Plus 5x plus 5x. This goes away and I'm left with negative 21 on this side. If I add these two things, I get 9x, and then I bring down my plus 6. Okay, now I'm going to get x by itself. I'm going to undo my addition or subtraction and undo my multiplication or division. So remember, I want everything close to x. I want to get it away. So I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 9. A negative divided by a positive is going to be a negative number. And then 27 divided by 9 is 3. Don't hesitate to use your calculator right now. And even though in class we don't use our cell phones as calculators, if that's the calculator you have, go for it. It's a calculator. It's no problem right now. Now, I'm going to resist the urge to think that I'm all done because I'm not. Okay, I remember my goal, like this golden thing I'm trying to figure out is my X and my Y. And so if I'm going to try and figure out my X and my Y, well, I've only figured out my X. So now I've got to substitute in to find my Y. So I get to pick whichever equation I like best. I'm just going to go with the first. And where there's an X in it, I'm going to write negative 3. So here's the equation. Right there, instead of writing X, I'm going to write negative 3. and then I'm gonna evaluate my expression. So if I evaluate my expression, I end up getting, sorry for the move, I end up getting y equals negative 12 plus six, negative 12 plus six. Again, don't hesitate to use the calculator. This is not like show off time, it doesn't matter, okay? If that's an area where you struggle, write it, use the calculator. And then we get y equals negative six.
Okay, that's good. So now if I think about my whole goal, oops, sorry about that, guys. If I think about my whole goal, my whole goal was to find what my X and Y is. Guess what? I've done it, except I have to write my final answer. And when I write my final answer, I get my X value, which is negative three, and I get my Y value, which is negative six. Success. All done. Okay. That's going to be your um, first level type of problem. Stay tuned for the next one.